Hello, everyone. Welcome to Epic Learning's Heartbeat with the World, Volume 2. We have Scott joining us for the first time, Nick Garn, who's our regular, and me, Carl Hartley, your host. And like all our heartbeats, we're going to start with a win, and I'm going to pick on Scott first. Scott, what's your first win? Hey, Carl. Uh, my first win is uh, learning GOMO, so the new the new system um, that we've been playing around with. It's uh, it's had its ups and downs, but I'm really thinking I'm mastering it at the moment, so I think that's a big win for me. Cool. Yeah, so, so what did you... What was the, the biggest learning from GOMO though? <laughs> Just like uh, enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, the big, biggest learning is you've got to you've got to be precise with your um, image sizing, uh, and definitely that plays a part in lining it up, keeping everything nice and you know good. I guess you'd call it. <laughs> so you've got to make sure that yeah, everything's everything's lined up properly. It makes it um, look so much nicer. Cool, um, Nat. What was your win this week? Uh, one for the week this week was probably a little personal realisation of how cool our jobs are. We get to see so many different industries and ha- meet so many different and interesting people. Um, had a couple of site tours and been sort of getting to know some of our clients a wee bit better this week. So um, Monday I'm going to do a tour of an abattoir. Last week I did a tour of a, a, a quite a large uh, travel organisation. Um, you don't get much different than holidaying from to where our meat comes from. But the real, so the diversity of, of the kinds of people and the sort of jobs that we do is awesome. The challenges and the learning and development needs are the same. And that's mm-hmm. really cool. So, uh, Leaders, L&D specialists, um, business people all around these industries, are having they're facing the same challenges. The uh, um, the uh, sort of finding creative solutions for the same sorts of problems, and uh, that's kind of exciting for us, right? So, um, super cool. We've been looking really um, at some uh, modern. So this is a heartbeat with the world, not tell the world everything about uh, how the cool our jobs are. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, it's a bit winky, but it uh, it was a real it was a realization for me that it doesn't matter if you're on the shop floor floor of an abattoir, leading a team a factory team, or leading a team of multilingual customer service specialists in a in a rental. A, van um, company you the leadership qualities are the same the communication issues are the same the the problem solving is still there you know and and that that was pretty exciting for me to kind of have that bit of sort of an aha moment or a bit of a wow i really love my job moment this week um i love our job too but that was a long 16 hour day for me (laughs) 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 um okay so what's carl's win of the week um for me i did some final touches on our soft launch for our website and probably the biggest win was me unlearning my old method of building content where I would try and make it as cool as possible and customize it as possible, much as possible. But the downside to that is no one else can update it. I'm the only one who has to be there to do it. And often it's really hard to untangle when you leave it for a few months. So I built it on the back of my mind that someone else is going to be working with this after me which required me to be way more disciplined where all the files are stored and how I build it and using simple processes. I deleted 23 unused pages to make it clean. So the person that goes there goes, Hey, here are the two pages that Carl's worked on. And these are the only ones I need to figure out. There's none of their noise or crap there for them. So I'm proud that I did it and stuck to it, even though it kept me up at night going, it isn't quite where I wanted it to be, but being happy with that. So I'm still, a bit- I'm, I'm so thankful that, for that, Carl, because I'll be the person that'll come in behind you. So yeah, oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, that's exactly it, right? Like I can't always be the guy that goes and fixes things because the nature of our work um, means that I could be working on a different job next week, right? So um, that's the challenge: is making it so we can be a team opposed to just individuals. Okay, round two, quickly. Um, what's your goal for next week, Scott? Uh, goal for next week is I want to, I'm looking forward for feedback from the GOMO guys on what I've built as well. Cause it'd be nice to get that feedback from someone who's yeah. not in our business. Um, and, and definitely it will be a big win for me if it comes back with very minimal changes. <laughs> oh, next, so yeah, uh, so. another 15 seconds. 
Uh, I'm meeting a client for face to face for the first time this week that I've been talking to over phone and email for about the last maybe six months or so. So it's always really <laughs> interesting when you meet someone that you've had time to develop a mental image of what yeah. they look like and how, what they're like and you meet them. They're never the same. So that's an exciting thing for me this week. Yeah. So for me, um, got potential new work starting on Monday. So it's kind of, well, I've deleted my calendar to how I've planned it. So depending on the, how that goes. So I guess my goal is to be dynamic and agile and figure out what's going to happen. And I'll tell everyone what happens next week. Okay, awesome. guys. Well, that's our heartbeat with the world. Um, say goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. See you later. Bye. <laughs>